Hi, I'm Pitmaster Megan Day from Burnt Finger Barbecue, and I'm here with a charred chicken salad for the Royal Oak Charcoal Pellet Recipe Series. First thing I'm gonna do is I've got boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And you're usually gonna get five or six that are gonna come in a pack. So I'm gonna get those spread out, and I wanna add in some smoky Kansas City seasoning, because it's gonna add a nice pop of color and some lovely flavors. All right, let's get a little bit of seasoning on top of these and underneath. The reason I like to use the thighs is you can go a little bit higher temperature and when you are using a pellet that is charcoal, you're gonna get that high heat. So I want to take advantage of that high heat. Sometimes a white meat can get a little bit too dried out where these beautiful thighs, the dark meat, are gonna take that heat and still be really delicious and juicy. So let's head to the pellet grill. We've got that pit about 400 degrees where the chicken is. We're going to toast up some cashews because a good chicken salad with a little bit of cashew crunch. I've made a little boat out of some tin foil. I'm gonna spread these cashews out, add a little bit of oil, get some of that seasoning just to complement it. These actually are have a little bit of sea salt on them, so I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on the rub just give them a little toss. And then we're gonna put these over the fire pot, exactly over direct heat, because I do wanna get them toasty. I do not wanna burn them, so you're gonna have to watch them pretty close. While the chicken is going strong, we're gonna make what we're gonna use for the actual chicken salad. About a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of some dried tarragon, about a tablespoon of honey, a couple teaspoons of lemon, add a nice little citrus kick. I like to kinda put it up and then dump it down in case there's any seeds, just to try to keep my seeds. Once the chicken is done, we will shred it and mix it together with this dressing. Okay, wow, look at the beautiful char that we got on this chicken using that charcoal pellet. It smells delicious, it smells like authentic barbecue. I wanna pull it right while it's still really, really warm. And it just gives it a nice pulled and nice big pieces of chicken when you're making your chicken salad rather than all diced up and, and mushy. And we'll put it in with the dressing as we go so it can kind of start to soak up some of those flavors. And now we're adding our cashews. These are nice and toasted with a little bit of oil and that smoky Kansas City. We're gonna give everything a stir. The charred chicken salad, fully dressed, I love that when I put that charcoal pellet in the hopper, it can take the heat so high I get charred chicken, which is a game changer for this salad. I like to put it on a cracker, maybe put it on a little bit of white bread or make yourself a big old sandwich. It is the perfect bite. Cheers. This recipe is so versatile. You've got on white bread, as a cracker, as an appetizer, or a full sandwich for a meal.